From a creature that swam the sea of Japan to an apex predator from Tasmania, here are eight animals that went extinct in the last century. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 8. Japanese Sea Lion The Japanese sea lion is one of the most recent marine animals to be considered extinct. Inhabiting the Sea of Japan around the coastal areas of the Korean Peninsula and the Japanese archipelago, commercial hunting in the 1900s is thought to have led to the species' fatal decline. Oil extracted from their skin was used in lamps, their internal organs were used in traditional oriental medicine and various products were made from their leather and whiskers. Up until 2003, this creature was thought to be a subspecies of the California sea lion. Based on DNA analysis, the two sea lions diverged about 2 million years ago during the early Pleistocene era. Male Japanese sea lions typically grew larger than the California sea lion species, reaching lengths over 8 feet and weighing over 1,200 pounds. A collaborative effort was announced in 2007 in which Russia, China, North and South Korea would work together towards bringing back sea lions to the Sea of Japan. The main idea behind the plan is to relocate California sea lions from the United States. Number 7. Pyrenean Ibex This Iberian wild goat species once ranged across the Pyrenees in France, Spain and the surrounding area. The males had thick, curved horns with a ridge surface that developed with age. It was said that each ridge corresponded to a year in the ibex's life. Nobody knows for sure how the ibex ended up in the Iberian Peninsula. One theory is that populations moved from the Northern Alps around 18,000 years ago. They were very abundant in the Pyrenees during the Middle Ages, however, hunted by man and grazing competition with both wild and domestic hoofed animals eventually led to their extinction. Before we continue with our list, it's time for our quiz question. What was the name of the last surviving Pyrenean Ibex? Was it A. Sandy, B. Celia, C. Selena, or D. Cora? Let us know what you think in the comment section below and stay tuned to find out the right answer. Number 6. Western Black Rhinoceros The Western Black Rhinoceros used to roam the savanna of sub-Saharan Africa until it was declared extinct in 2011. Standing almost six feet tall at the shoulder and weighing over 3,000 pounds, it had two horns measuring up to four and a half feet. Heavy poaching led to their decline as it was aggressively hunted for its horn. It was used to make a ceremonial knife handle called Janbaya, which were considered to be a symbol of status and wealth. In the 1950s, Mao Zedong wanted to counter Western influences by emphasizing traditional Chinese medicine. Ground-up rhino horn was believed to cure a number of ailments, including cancer. It was also said to increase virility and detect poison because of its high alkaline content. None of these alleged properties, which doctors still swear by in some parts of the world, have ever been proven by science. Nevertheless, the price for 2.2 pounds of rhino horn could exceed $50,000, which made the western black and other rhino species a prime target for poachers. As the rhino's numbers decreased, the value of its horn increased until it was basically poached into extinction. Number 5. Rab's Fringe-Limbed Tree Frog As a species, Rab's Fringe-Limbed Tree Frog had a very short existence from the perspective of scientific records. It was first discovered in 2005 and the last known surviving member died in 2016. These tree frogs were quite unique. They were the only frog species where the tadpoles got their nutrition by feeding on the skin cells of their fathers. Males were extremely territorial and would guard breeding spots, which usually consisted of water-filled tree holes. Like other fringe-limbed tree frogs, they had very large hands and feet, which were fully webbed. During descent, they could glide by spreading their hands and feet. The tree frog's range was very limited. It had an area of less than 100 square miles in the mountains above the town of El Valle de Anton in central Panama. By 2009, only four years after its discovery, 
the species was already considered to be critically endangered. Then, an outbreak of a fungus that causes deadly disease in amphibians was reported in its native habitat. It's why the tree frog was eventually considered extinct in the wild. The last rabs fringed limb tree frog was a male named Tuffy who died at the Atlanta Botanical Garden in September 2016. Number 4. Heath Hen A subspecies of the greater prairie chicken, heath hens once inhabited the pine plains of coastal North America from the south of New Hampshire to the north of Virginia. Abundant during colonial times, it's been speculated that the pilgrims' first Thanksgiving dinner actually consisted of heath hens and not wild turkey. On average, these birds weighed about 2 pounds and grew to be roughly 17 inches long. Their plumage had a strong reddish hue, the tails were greyish brown and the males had pointed horns called pinnae. Like many other creatures on our list, one of the primary reasons for their decline was overhunting. By the late 19th century, less than 100 hens were left. They were eventually protected by a hunting ban and the establishment of a heath hen reserve. Then a destructive ecological fire greatly reduced their numbers. The last heath hen was a male dubbed Boomin Ben by the locals. He was last seen around Martha's Vineyard in March 1932 and was ultimately presumed dead. Number 3. Passenger Pigeon The passenger pigeon was once the most abundant bird in North America. Its common name is inspired by the bird's migratory habits and derived from the French word passager meaning to pass by. Males were about 15 and a half inches long, had black spots on the wings, iridescent bronze feathers on their necks and mainly grey on their upper and under parts. Females were slightly smaller and duller in coloration. These remarkable creatures had the ideal physical adaptations for endurance, speed and in-flight maneuverability. They were extremely fast flyers and could reach a speed of almost 62 miles per hour. They are often cited as an example of anthropogenic extinction, also known as extinction caused by human activity. It's an ongoing event that coincides with the Holocene, the epoch we are currently living in. Decades of heavy hunting and loss of habitat from deforestation led to the death of the entire species. The last wild passenger pigeon is believed to have been shot in 1901 and the last captive bird died in 1914 at the Cincinnati Zoo. So, what was the name of the last Pyrenean ibex? If you chose B, Celia, then you are correct. Celia died in 2000, but about a year before that, tissue samples were harvested from her right ear and cryopreserved in nitrogen. On July the 30th, 2003, the Pyrenean ibex was the first species in history to become unextinct. Scientists took somatic cells from Celia's tissue, used the domestic goat as a surrogate and a female clone was born alive. However, the ibex died several minutes later from a lung defect. Number 2. Pinta Island Tortoise This creature was native to Ecuador's Pinta Island and was also known as the Pinta Giant Tortoise. As a Galapagos tortoise species, it could achieve some truly astonishing proportions. The largest recorded males weighed over 880 pounds and grew to be more than 6 feet long. Galapagos tortoises are distinguishable by their longer necks and limbs as well as by their shells which can be dome or saddleback shaped. The last surviving Pinta Island tortoise was named Lonesome George. At one point, he was known as the rarest creature in the world and became a symbol for conservation efforts in the Galapagos archipelago. He died from natural causes in June 2012. Number 1. Tasmanian Tiger The thylacine, also the Tasmanian Tiger, is one of the largest known carnivorous marsupials. It first emerged as a species around 4 million years ago and was native to New Guinea, Tasmania and the Australian mainland. The thylacine was a truly fascinating creature as it embodied a number of features that are typical of other animals. It had the size and general appearance of a large dog. Like many members of the Canidae family, the Tasmanian tiger had powerful jaws, sharp teeth and raised heels. Yet, unlike canids, it could open its jaws at an unusually large angle of almost 80 degrees. 
The thylacine had stripes on its back, reminiscent of those on a tiger as well as a stiff tail and abdominal pouch similar to a kangaroo's. Despite the resemblances to predators in the northern hemisphere, its closest relative is either the numbat or the Tasmanian devil. Not much is known about its feeding behavior, but it's generally believed that the thylacine was a nocturnal apex predator that preyed on wallabies, wombats and kangaroos. Intensive hunting by humans is generally regarded as the reason for its extinction. Other suspected factors include disease or loss of habitat. The last known thylacine was called Benjamin and he died at a Tasmanian zoo in 1936. Black and white videos of him are still available online, however, there's hope for the species to make a comeback. An international team of geneticists has successfully sequenced its genome, which means that cloning the thylacine could become a reality in the near future. Thanks for watching. What other recently extinct species do you know? Tell us about them in the comments section below.